you have your, your ants that are exploring, you have your warrior ants, you have the different types. And I think that that's where we're at. So having people like Ogali and a couple of people who really are designated with that role lets the rest of us know um, both who to ask and who to channel information to. Because otherwise it's, it's too much task switching to have everybody trying to take on or, or a small handful of people trying to take on 15 different hats all at once. Yeah, I'm definitely that. noticing too much tax task switching right now, which is part of the, oh shit, I need to go find where I can put this person. And then I'll do that for a five minutes and then I'm like, someone else will pop up. I'm like, fuck, now I've got another one. <laughs> like I haven't found the other one yet. Now I've got like six people I need to work out if we can use them or not. <laughs> I'm like, I've got the problem of having too many useful, talented people and not, enough, not sure where to put them. <laughs> That's a tough problem, right? Like it's, it's, it's like the, it's the best kind of problem to have, but also it's just like, I don't want them to lose interest, but I'm also like, I don't want to just spray them at the wall and hope they stick somewhere. But it's I also don't want to get Because we're kind of like organically limiting ourselves uh, to four tasks, and that's why we can really, you know, expand. But, you know, there are so many people that are approaching us from different angles we like whenever we open the flute gates and kind of like start matching people to various think tanks you know mental health or you know helping the logistics and masks and all of that stuff i think that problem will resolve itself for now we have to keep that balance of understanding like if we are you know if we have to engage that person because i truly think we may not need to engage them uh, if there is no need and just wait for uh, whenever we have that need. So to help you with that, you know, dilemma, like if you really, like if you spend five minutes looking where to put that person, just let them know your skills are valuable. We're gonna get back to you. Yep, I've um, I've seen this sheet before. I've just forgotten it. So I'll make sure I start it and save it, and I'll put it in my little ever-growing list of shit to remember. <laughs> And the nice thing for, for all of that, those myriad things to remember, uh, any of them that aren't on the project assets sheet, we can try to get onto there because that should be for everybody, sort of your go-to sheet that is going to be able to link to whatever of the other resources you need are. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I already clicked record just because we were talking about some, some important stuff um, I'm feeling. And I think the, the number one thing is uh, like, Obviously, we're all remote, right? We, uh, we've never met each other uh, in, in real life. Maybe some people did, but most haven't. And essentially, like, we're already getting these types of kind of wins that essentially in the real environment, we would celebrate collectively. You know, all of these, like, Wall Street, like, holy shit, yay! <laughs> but right now, it, it's happening in, in the form of uh, the you know, the memes and emojis and Slack, which is definitely cool. So yeah, I just wanted to take it one second for this, you know, online celebration party, just for everyone to, to feel that moment that we're out there, we're hitting mainstream TV, we're hitting major publications, and like, it's real. It's real and it's us. Like, there is no, like, central something that is doing it. It's it's really about us together and everyone is participating like the same way as Andrew messaged me, literally messaged me that same day before I had the interview and gave me that metaphor for hammers. And I was, you know, wow, that's huge. Like I'm going to use it. And I used it. So like everyone's impact is immediately propagated and immediately useful. So let's just take a, a second and do that. Like, yay. <laughs> We're, we're making it. That's happening. Wait, uh, I just pulled up a YouTube applause video. <laughs> Do you mind if I play it? <laughs> uh, Archer, you're muted right now. Oh, yeah. Um, I was saying that we're going to improve on this and like we absolutely have to because we're entering this new world where, you know, the previous things are just not working and previous methods of collaboration and cooperation celebration are not working. So 
yeah, it's, it's exciting to see this, this growing. All right, so back to the uh, tough things. Um, oh, I guess we should ask for a volunteer to uh, take notes for the call and identify actionable tasks and the ones who's responsible and then summarizing it at the end of the call. Is there a volunteer that would like to help us identify these uh, action items today? It's always tough. It's got to be you, Daniel. I'll I'll do it today. It's fine. I'm just uh, bringing up a, I'm just bringing up a page. I'll I'll take I'll take the turn. Somebody's All right. Taylor. All right. Thank you. Uh, so uh, the first item is I think worth mentioning is the progress we're uh, having on the coordinators and you know basically the separation of onboarding coordinators versus team coordinators. I think we're actually doing pretty good in terms of onboarding. We have that new introduction channel. People are uh, moving into it um, and it, it seems to be working, right? So whoever has thoughts about it, you Tyler, obviously, you're, you're doing an amazing job at helping it work. So maybe uh, you can have a quick summary or, or thoughts on that. Uh, people are coming in, people are asking, uh, some people are using general still, but the introduction seems to be funneling a bit better, but until I like, yeah, just got reminded about this team's needs sheet, because I've seen it before, but I kind of weren't sure how live it was. Now I understand that it is consistent and kept up to date by the teams. I'll trust it to be valid and useful right now. Um, I'll make sure. I'll make sure me and Ugly both know that and remember that. But yeah, it's a case of I was. It was a case of like I was just um, struggling with the fact. I was struggling with the fact that like too many helpful people are turning up, and I was like, I don't want them to leave, but I also don't want to go just go find a thing because that's the opposite of being directed into something useful. So now I've got that. Literally, the first once this call's done, I'll spend half an hour and I'll just because I've already seen like several things. I'm like, oh, I know we can go for that. I know we can go for that, and I've seen. I've got a little mental list. I just needed to, I just needed to have something to, a tick list to make sure that that is needed by one team right now. And I've seen a few that work already, so I'll do that after call. Yeah, one thing that just popped my mind: it will be helpful for you to create a mental model of like three buckets, basically people that are you know matching the immediate needs, the people that are useful but may be needed later on. For example, like web developers or backend engineers or someone who would be helpful at, you know, uh, integrating solutions into something uh, not needed right now, uh, but will be needed uh, very soon. And then there will be people that um, are coming in that have actual needs that they're looking help for, which are, you know, that uh, medical person or whoever that asked about the help with the uh, um, protective equipment. So it's, it's a different type of new joint, the one that may potentially create a, a team or a project. Yeah, it's about understanding that as we become more visible, more people will turn up wanting to leverage the visibility we've gained and that the, 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 the validity of being seen as something, an organization that's trying to make a difference and be, uh, make some influence. Because, yeah, the, the PPE question is a terrible terrible scenario for many countries right now and it is definitely something worth looking at but we don't currently have any <laughs> any skill set or direction towards doing it but again doesn't mean it shouldn't be done just because we can't do it right now one one place that i'll tell that second and third bucket uh set of folks um we can uh, direct them is into that exciting ideas template. So for people who are looking for something to do, that's a place where they may be able to contribute ideas while they're waiting to actually get actively engaged on a team. Um, and for people who have a need, um, both broadcasting it, but also putting something there, you never know when people are going to come and be able to, to give some, some useful input or some ideas that might turn into something. Yeah, absolutely. And again, there are more and more things that are popping up in, in our new world and new mechanisms, new things to cope with the current reality. Uh, we were in a call yesterday with this guy, Jordan uh, Hall, Green Hall, which is, you know, an ex-entrepreneur, and he uh, literally, you know, dumped a lot of second and third order con consequences that he's already thinking about, like mental health, you know, the coping mechanisms, 
all of the like global supply issues, potential deserts, uh, food deserts, even in U.S. in certain places due to uh, a bunch of food coming in from S South America and other places. Uh, terrible situations that may happen in Africa and South, uh, South Asia in terms of the hunger and poverty and all of these things. So we're definitely not prepared for that. And we as a group are not prepared for that yet, but just something to think about that there is, there is an un unlimited scope of common enemies to, to come. All right, so the next piece, uh, we kind of discussed the human resources challenges and team needs progress. Uh, communications update. Uh, Daniel, do you want to provide a quick summary on that? Um, so there's there's a lot going on right now in terms of we're getting our press talking points together, we're getting a few things so that we can do some more effective outreach, and it's fun watching that starting to, to become more effective so that we had a request come in yesterday uh, that we, you know, we were trying to get some, some data from Google, and it's much quicker for us to now turn that into a, a functional request to ask for them. On the human resources side, I just want to quickly share a screen. I'm going to start maybe seeding some of these into our Slack every now and then, but um, these are little cards that are based off of group dynamics, and this is one of the ones I want to touch on today. So it's, it's just good faith assumptions. It's the fact that we're all running at top speed, um, working in seven different directions at once, and that there's bound to be friction. So you know, in in teams, you know, we're aware that there are some frictions that are beginning to to come up, and and you know, there's personality or um, just archetypal frictions or ones that are structural. Um, but but just to remember that we're all in this and working as best we can. And so if we can depersonalize any of those conflicts that happen and identify what the challenges that are causing them are, the challenges are probably things that we do need to address. Um, and if we can do it in a depersonalized way, that's gonna be, uh, gonna be really effective. So thanks for the people who are bringing up uh, any challenges that are there um, and we'll work together to figure out how we move through them. All right, sounds good. I think it's a good point to uh, start into individual team uh discussions uh we're i'm gonna quickly remind the structure for team reporting high level progress quick summary on tasks that you're working on uh time to results what are the results you're working on and blockers what do you need help with and we're gonna start with maya team risk factors hey how are you good good i I don't sound excited uh, because I'm Russian, but I even can't express how excited I am regarding the progress in media that we are doing. It's amazing. And wow, just wow, I can't believe it's all happening. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, that's the first thing. Uh, the second one, the progress that we are making is incredible. At the moment, we a little bit uh, we're not really slowed down, but we kind of looked back and decided to be more cooperative on a code. And uh, today we had an amazing team call and I asked why, for example, people sometimes prefer to do overlapping work and I realized why it's happening because people want to get acquainted well with the data set. So they still need this piece of work to be done by themselves. So it's it's kind of okay we are collecting everything we are gathering everything together uh hopefully we will have uh, something to present tomorrow and we are very very close to present first meaningful uh, result which will go directly into the final uh notebook nice and do you have a quick like glimpse into what those results may look like uh, it will be hard risks uh, with a uh, number of citations. Uh, uh, does paper prove or deny hypothesis that this specific risk affects or doesn't affect? Um, methodology and uh, like all, all the things we basically described in the main, like it will be sorted by uh, type of disease. And it's kind of, you can drill down. So here is the disease, here is the method, and uh, here is the, uh, the paper, and here is how reliable the paper is, like all kind of this nice stuff. Sounds good. All right, uh, next team, uh, how geography affects virality, Daniel? Uh, yes, so I would say steady progress as usual, no major developments. Um, maybe, 
something that could be helpful to us um, to have, which I already put on the um, team needs document, is um, to have someone to help us manage the GitHub repository. So validate pull requests and checking that everything works and so on. Um, because th that is taking um, a very big amount of time uh, from us. I mean, it's very important to have everything more or less in the same format that can be easily used. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's, uh, we set some deadline, some uh, guidelines on how to write the codes, how uh, the resulting data set should look like. Um, but enforcing this, of course, takes time, even though I think long term can bring huge advantages. Yeah, um, I think somebody's at, somebody's got uh, somebody's popped up with the Python development experience. I don't know how good they are with GitHub today. So I'll, 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 like I said, they were on my list of people. Same as the epidemiologist. Somebody's come up and said they're the epidemiologist with niche machine learning experience, and I'm like, wow, we could definitely find you. But I didn't know where to send them, so I'm, I'm going to send you some, send both of them over to Geo probably. Yeah, there's yeah, those guys. Send us the epidemiologist. <laughs> yeah, and somebody's uh, somebody's talked about data analytics, somebody's wanting to be org like knows data analytics analytics and team management skills. And I'm like, I don't, again, I didn't know. I, that's kind of one of them general, everyone needs it, who needs it right now moments. And I'm like seeing Geo's list and I'm like, I've got three guys probably for that. Probably yeah, no great. problem at all. Um, yeah, we, we, project, we need, so we need epidemi an, at least one epidemiologist to set up um, possible interesting analysis with uh, domain knowledge, not to do scrubs and analysts to perform this analysis. So the two things go together. Yeah. Yeah. Is just, uh, up with, uh, somebody's come this forward. is Akash here. Uh, uh, Daniel, your requirement for GitHub is to uh, validate the code, go through it and review the changes or more Yes, yeah, review the changes, validate that the code that comes in is correct, that it follows the guidelines and so on. At least help on that. We are doing that, uh, me and yeah. Manuel mostly. Um, but who needs Is this uh, part of the risk? Uh, I, I just, uh, to, uh, no, it's this... uh, Geo, Team Geo. Geo, Geo, okay, okay. Yes. You can add me as part if you need some help with that. Okay, that's great. Thanks, Akash. Great. Yeah. Okay. All right, next team. Uh, trans how tr uh, what we know about transmission. Christine. Hi, everyone. Um, so we onboarded a few new members to help us with the NLP tasks. Thanks, I really appreciate the help from Alicia, Daniel, Anson. Thank you very much. Um, so, and we also had uh, just got our first iteration of uh, visualization back. We're still working on it. Hopefully, we can share the results uh, very soon. Hopefully, tomorrow. Um, and also, we are at a point where we are adjusting the queries and uh, so I think this would be a good time to uh, consult domain experts, epidemiologists, virologists, physicians uh, to help us uh, do a quality check and refine our queries. Um, yeah and then I think we're we're in, in a pretty good uh, have a pretty good progress um, and that would be our update. Sounds great. Uh, team vaccines. So let me just confirm. So you're needing domain experts and epidemiologists to review what you've got so far to make sure it's clear. And um, help us um, adjust out some queries, search queries. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And no, quick, down. A quick note. I think that, you know, even though we should strive for epidemiologists, I think we can actually diversify the ask to different forms of medical experts because we have a lot of them through different yeah. disciplines and maybe yeah just diversifying the ask and going mm -hmm. back to all of these like bio people that joined us all right sounds good uh the next team uh, vaccines i know that dan sosa is not joining us today but he said that shannon will be sharing the update hi guys um i've got dan's update here so he says uh, Ben Jones is working with Anton, Michael, Sam Brewster, and Mike Honey to figure out solutions to data versioning and storage and how that all interfaces with our Power BI visualization and then <coughs> uh, gets packaged within a Kaggle notebook. 
Their work here might help with other teams' Power BI visualizations if relevant. Um, also, uh, our work on improving accuracy of extracting drug treatments for our dashboard is in progress as we implement a good BERT-based solution. We now have plenty of help with the BERT and the NLP, thanks to all who responded to the call. I've posted, I've Dan, Dan posted our team's onboarding slides on the Google Drive. Other teams should feel free to use and adapt these to their own needs. All right, sounds good. Um, do we have anyone from uh, Team Vaccines uh, that has any blockers or needs or anything? Uh, latest that I have on that is no, but if, if somebody else is on the call and disagrees, please speak up. All right, sounds great. So um, the only other thing that we have on the list and maybe worth uh, talking about is just um, we are trying to figure out many different things in different domains. And obviously we're trying to figure out if we should do an entity, what kind of entity, what we should be doing in terms of uh, the actual, like what's, what's next beyond Kaggle. So we're trying to figure that out. There are many, um, you know, inputs that we're operating with. So just an update that, you know, we still have no clue, but we're, we're trying to figure that out. So uh, we still have a couple of minutes for Q&A and further feedback integration of what we can do better as a group. If there is someone that wants to ask a question or uh, has any questions that uh, we're, we missed out in, in general uh, Slack channel, uh, feel free to speak up. This is your time. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, hi, guys. Um, question. We, uh, after each daily meeting, we keep uh, adding uh, like some tasks, action items into the main board, but uh, we don't check uh, if anyone is taking them or so they like we keep, keep adding and uh, not doing anything with them after that, mainly. Um, may, maybe that, that is because we don't need that main board or we shouldn't put those action items on the main board but into the some team boards or something like that. What do you think? Yeah, I truly think we need that you know, maintenance person uh, that takes care of uh, the main board. I still think it's a good place just because, you know, we are aware of these tasks at least, and we see them as a list. Obviously, you know, through time, their relevancy decreases and some of them should be archived and there should be some judgment and reasoning that goes into that. Um, if we can find that maintenance person, as Anton calls that role is really janitor, but I, I try to, to be more gentle with it and call it maintenance. So uh, yeah, we need that person. And I know that Antun is helping, you know, to put stuff into board, but we also need someone to make sure that what, whatever is put has a responsible person to it. And, you know, and if it's still relevant as a task. For the record, I'm only referring to myself as technical janitor, not to other people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Archer, is this a good time to discuss calendar updates? I have updates. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, so two, two things. One is, um, yay, I can add the list now. Um, and as if by magic. So this is good because I was about to have to send them like a horror file and it was going to get intense. But um, uh, so the second thing is that you had asked me to make the calendar public for some reason, I, I couldn't figure out how to get the original calendar to be fully like detail visible. However, I created I created a new calendar from the admin account, and this one I can control the permissions on from the admin dashboard, and I've been able to make it detail public. Um, so I have I have added a daily recurring call invite, and I added the Corona Y org list to that for this meeting for the risk meeting. That that one actually has no guests. Um, and the communications meeting, which also has no guests, but people can add guests to those. And basically, if I can ask Rohan to switch the calendar pointer, um, then it will show the new calendar and not the old calendar, and we can get rid of the old calendar. Does this sound okay? Perfect. Sounds good. So right now, we're, we're, we'll be able to see the actual names of the events instead of busy, right? 
Ex that's yes, exactly. And I haven't um, tested it from my dummy Gmail account, but I, I can do that. Okay. I, I saw it in the dashboard control, so that was good. Um, Let's do it. That will help with organizing calls and people being aware when, when these calls are happening. Indeed. And, and a follow-up question in that topic, um, is it now considered appropriate for teams who have recurring meetings to use that calendar to post them? Yeah, I think so. Great. I will encourage that. I've, I, I've been having that discussion with Dan on the vaccine team, so I, I will t I give that feedback to him as well. Sounds great. All right, guys, uh, we're out of uh, 30 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to upload the, the recording shortly. Anson will help me uh, annotate it. Uh, thank you, Anson. That was like, this is the best thing that you could take away from me. Like, obviously, like it takes a lot of time to make sure that these annotations make sense. And I think that we're providing a very, very good uh, way for people to catch up to whatever we're doing from the high level. No problem. So let, me just let me just confirm the day's task or the, the meeting's task. So we've got um, Geo needs someone, well, we, the, the three people especially, but they specifically need someone to really help keep GitHub's, GitHub maintained and tidied and organized and following its guidelines. But someone popped up and who was it? Who offered to? Akash, was it? Yes, it was Akash. Yeah, I can't offer offer to do that, but I sh but shall I still find someone to try and prioritize that as mo as their main role, for lack of a better word? Well, I'll leave it there in the needs uh, sheet for now, and I'll talk with Akash either later today or tomorrow. Okay. And the second one was uh, Christine needs domain experts and epidemiologists to be able to test the new model with queries to make sure that the, what they've got so far works and to be able to help refine that. Is that right, Christine? That's right. Thank you. Great. Cool. That's my two list down. And then calendars, organizations coming together, people can start using that for team meetings so it can be more globally known. And maintenance person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So many people need to, well, someone needs to keep up with the janitorial board cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. I don't. I'm not a member on most of the boards. I really should organise that. I'm only a member on some of the ones that matter. But uh, I don't. I also don't want to offer to do too much because there's a potential. Um, I've got an interview with the NHS to do with helping go back on the front line and helping with whatever they need me with to do with, which might obviously impede some of my time. So, um, so I don't want to try and take too many tasks and feel like I'm going to be helpful and actually just get overwhelmed. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. As, as many of us, like th this is a real thing, like taking too much on yourself and stretching yourself is a real thing. So yeah, just let's, let's be mindful of that. Uh, again, stay healthy. Don't burn yourself out. We need you guys uh, in the long term. And you know, this is a real thing and it's, it's growing like crazy. So let's keep it, keep up with the momentum. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day or a night. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.